OK, guys, I'm back, armed with the British High Street, ready to prove to you lot, looking sensational does not need to cost you a fortune. My biggest tip this season is shop less, wear more. You lot spend over two grand a year on clothes, but wear less than a third of them. That's insane. It's time to put an end to too much shopping, too many clothes and too much waste. And to show you how, are we teaching one woman to streamline her wardrobe? What are we going to do with it then? <laughs> We're going to bin it big We're going to bin it, right, get it up. And how to mix and match items so she'll have something to wear every day of the week. The Let Is More mantra continues with Alan Carr as I convince him to ditch his dodgy designer gear. Where did you wear this? I had a drink, no, just a little one. <laughs> Look at the little face. <laughs> and fix him up in clothes entirely from the great British high street. Plus, curvy ladies, listen up. The rocking and rolling Rotherham lasses are putting frocks for the fuller figure through their paces. Every time I spin round, it swirls fast. I love it. <laughs> and here in Birmingham, the catwalk showdown continues. I feel like I've let you down, guys. Bricks one last time. It cannot happen again. Who will the public vote for? The high-end collection fronted by fashionista Bricksmith Start or my fabulous looks for less, all from the great British high street. Get ready to go, girls. It's the all-new Gox Fashion Fix. Looking and feeling fabulous is not about spending a fortune. You too can get designer diva looks from the great British high street. This year, Fashion Fix has gone public and we've got our second catwalk competition slap bang in the middle of one of Britain's busiest shopping centres. On last week's show, I met my match when Bricks won with her lavish designer labels. <laughs> but this week, will I bite back against the designer diva Bricksmith Start? Bricks runs her own boutique in the East End of London and is a key figure in the fashion fraternity. Oh, my God! Love it! Money is no object for this fashion junkie and she wouldn't be seen dead in high street clothes. Another week of fashion, Bricks. I know, I know. Are, are you excited? I'm really excited and I think I'm going to beat you this week. Do you? What makes you so sure? Oh, I just have a feeling in my gut. I don't feel that there's so much pressure on this week. I kind of think we're working together. Oh, no, I'm lying. I'm going to win. <laughs> the Diva and Dior will be choosing four classic looks on a limitless designer budget. Should we look at some gawk beating clothes? Whatever, Bricks. I'll be hitting the great British high street to get these looks for a lot less. Later, our collections are going to be going head to head on the catwalk, and our audience of sassy shoppers will decide which they like the best. And it had better be mine. <laughs> This week, I'm in Newcastle to show one shopaholic how to buy less but wear more. The average woman spends over £2,000 a year on clothes. And, girls, do you know what you wear of those clothes? Only 30%. Well, wardrobe wastages are now a thing of the past. We all love a bargain, but 38-year-old mum of four, Ali Kennedy, takes it to another level. She's the deal-seeking diva of the North East and has a wardrobe full of discounted clothes she's never even worn. Ali is a classic case of wardrobe wastage. I don't know why I bought it in the first place. Well, I do, because it was a pound and it was a bargain. <laughs> but it won't get worn. It's like an addiction. I sort of thrive on bargains. <laughs> Anything that's in the sale, even if I don't wear it. <laughs> Ali loves clothes and she loves a bargain, so put the two together and it's a bit of a disaster area, really, and that's Ali in the middle. <laughs> She thinks she's saving money by bulk buying bargains, but the truth is most of Ali's clothes don't even fit. Too big or too small, if the price is right, Ali just can't say no. I love the dress, but unfortunately it's too wide. With the credit crunch, everything, you know, you've got to watch the pennies. But that sort of goes out the window when I get into the shops and I tend to forget the budget completely. This is the indoor market in Newcastle, and I've had the mother of all washing lines constructed, so I can show Ali all of her clothes. My mission is to get the nation to detox their wardrobes and prove to Ali she can buy less and wear more. But before she can cleanse her closet, Ali's first lesson is to see exactly where she's been going wrong. 
Ali's colossal cupboard consists of a massive 37 tops, 13 pairs of trousers, 12 sale items she's never even worn, and hundreds of baggy bargains adding up to a massive 236 items. Morning! Morning! Hi, gorgeous. Hi, How yeah. are you? Lovely to see you. It's now time for Ali to be confronted with her whopping wardrobe. We're going to do a little bit of shopping now. Right. Because I've got this huge <laughs> shopping stall. <laughs> oh, my God. Over here, we've got 180 <laughs> feet of your clothes. Your entire wardrobe <laughs> is strung up on that washing line. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing! <laughs> you ain't seen half of it yet, kid. Yeah. So I've gone through your wardrobe, my darling. Yeah. This whole line mm -hmm. is 20 foot of sale items that you've not actually worn. No. Do you know how much these clothes come to? Come on, tell us. £110. All right. So... so where are you saving money here? I'm Just tell me. We have got size... 16. Yeah. You're not exactly the same top. Yeah. Now size 12. Right. Whole two sizes smaller, <laughs> so, but you still bought it anyway. Yeah, just in case. You look like you're getting a bit upset, <laughs> <or> gorgeous. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just. It's How so, are you feeling? No, well, it's bringing it home how bad I actually am. Do you know what we're going to do now? Yeah. I want you to go down this line and now unpack all the stuff that we're going to yeah. now recycle. Right, go, you are. go and get it all. This one it's got the gold. is so washed out, you will look like a condom if you put it on. You do know that, <laughs> don't you? Right then, explain. Well, this, um, I'd seen a celeb wearing a few years ago. Do you think you look like Shakira? <laughs> I love a tassel, but that is revolting. <laughs> and so what we're... are we going to do with it then? <laughs> we're going to bin it big we're time. We're going to bin it, right, get it off, get it off. Ali's been brilliantly brutal and filtered out over 180 ill-fitting bargain basement clothes. But don't worry, they'll be going straight to the charity shop. You've got literally 180 foot worth of nothing to wear. <laughs> what you've done is you've gone out bargain hunting, <laughs> right, and bought stuff you're never ever going to wear, but you bought it because you thought you were saving some money when in fact you spent too much money. Yeah. Yeah. And really, nothing really fits. Now, you know, every couple of years I will empty some stuff out, but I end up going out and buying more tat and putting yeah, it back okay. in again, so it's well, like a big vicious circle. No more tat. No more tat. No more tat. Quality stuff for you. It doesn't have to be dead expensive. No, just no. Just quality stuff that suits you and fits you properly and makes you feel good about yourself. I can get you looking absolutely gorgeous because you are beautiful. You've got the most amazing personality <laughs> and we've got to start dressing that. But mm. nothing left on these lines shows how gorgeous you are, does it? Really? No. And if anybody do, can do it, you can. Exactly. Coming up, I get a sneaky peek into Alan Carr's comedy wardrobe. The thing is, when you've got a face like mine, it don't matter what you wear. And the Duchess of Designer, Bricksmith star, ups the ante in the Battle of High Street versus High End. This is a gawk feeder if I ever saw one. Girlfriend, I ain't losing this week. <laughs> Thousands of you tell me you've got absolutely nothing to wear, yet still your wardrobes are absolutely crammed with clothes. Well, girls, I've got a brand new mantra. Shop less, wear more. You do not need to make your wallet weep to look gorgeous and glamorous, honest. And to prove it, Queen of Excess, Brick Smith Star and I are going head to head in yet another catwalk face off. I'll be hitting the great British high street to get four hot lux for less, while Miss Moneybags blows the budget. Prints. This is a work of art. The beauty and the juxtaposition of all the different prints they've put together. An explosion of a neon nebula and the shimmering heat shine of the sun. It hums in my brain. It is 625 pounds. It's incredible. It's a piece of origami. This is stunning. This is a gawk beater if I ever saw one. <laughs> Great. Black and white, monochromatic, Dries Van Noten, really a genius Belgian designer. And it is 240. I think I might put it with this chiffon shirt because I love the different textures. I think I might put this striped blazer with it, which is silk. So it's gonna be expensive, yes, and it is, boom, 600 pounds. Hopefully this will beat Gawk, but I need a pair of killer heels, so I'm gonna go find them. This beautiful, beautiful thing is by Caviar Gauche, and it's 918 pounds. 
Yes, I know, it's a hefty sum. However, this is red carpet material. Look at the way it moves. I cannot imagine Gawk is gonna do any better than this. I love it. Is that your box? Boo Boo, what are you doing? Rick Owens is the math. He's the master. This jacket can be worn three ways. Essentially, it's three 500 pound jackets. One, the normal way. Two, taking it off, turning it upside down, and it's like almost like a little capelet. And three, so you don't want to wear leather on the outside, but you want to feel the delicious, buttery, soft baby's breath licking your body leather on the inside. Do you like it? Case closed. I love my dog. Bricks, you completely scare me but I've got an even bigger challenge on my hands. Alan Carr is quite potentially the worst dressed man on British television. I'm about to give him a room raid and take him back into the closet. All right, all right, don't wear the Oh, shut bell. up. Let me in. Oh. What's that bloody doorbell? Alan thinks designer labels are the answer to his fashion faux pas, but he still gets it wrong. So I'm going to prove his fashion fix lies on the British high street. After styling people for 14 years, yeah. I've never actually met a man that dresses like you. Oh. OK, so, so how would you describe your overall style, Alan? Well, I don't... The, 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 I don't care. So when you put this on today, yeah. what was going through your head when you were thinking about this today? <laughs> I panic. Death. Now, honestly, I open the wardrobe, stick my hand in, and whatever I get at the end comes out. Right, OK. Surely you must care slightly about how you look, cos you don't want to be papped when you're looking right. No, I, the <laughs> thing is, when you've got a face like mine, it don't matter what you wear. I do treat myself when these big do's come along and I, I went to Armani, you know those lovely simple brown coats and yeah. I was like, no, Gorgeous. just, oh, I put it on I look like a janitor <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what do I accessorise with this? A mop and a dustbuster <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Well, I'm going to have a little look now, so you take a seat, Alan Carr and I'm going to go into your closet. Alright. Alright, okay F*** <laughs> me <laughs> that bad? <laughs> What is going on well, with this? I got it from the same shop that I got this. <laughs> oh, my... Where did you wear this? Did you buy this for an event? No, no, I'd, I'd, had, a, I'd had a drink. No, just a little one. <laughs> it's nice! It's nice! Look at the little face! Look at his face! This is, this is quite potentially, all these years, actually the worst garment I've ever seen. You liar! Okay. I discover soon it's not what you wear, but the way you wear it. That's okay. Alexander. No, that's next. That's <laughs> next. Oh, that's Alexander McQueen. <laughs> Alexander McNext. <laughs> if someone gives it to you, you don't want to throw it away. So did someone give that yeah, to you? Yeah, I had that for the uh, Sunday Night Project. Oh, did they like you? <laughs> this is quite nice, YMC. Yeah, I like that. I love that. I What's this? Put it on. Let me have a look on. Watch me turn this right, okay, into that's... something my nan would wear <laughs> while she's watching Poirot. <laughs> Look at that! I'm baffled. I can't Nothing work out. Nothing suits me. My body has rejected this cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. Is it? Well, Don't shake a lot. Yeah, but just because it's a label, Alan, doesn't mean it's going to look nice, does oh, it? I... Do you do that? Do you think, right, OK, yeah. it's Chanel, it's Dolce, I and do. the more money you spend, the nicer you're going to look, and then you feel very disappointed that you've spent half your mortgage on a T-shirt. It's, it's like yeah. the shortest T-shirt like I've ever seen. It's like sprinkling out hundreds and thousands on dog <laughs> OK, so this is the second one, then, so I'm hoping yeah. that what you decided to do was all the nice stuff you put in here... Uh, is that yeah. yeah. All right. Love. OK, oh, my... <laughs> oh, hello. Look at these, Mary so, Jane. Right, oh, my good God. They're oh, very my. empowering. We're doing science teacher chic. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You say, I love... Don't you like Don't that? You... Oh, I love that. What's the part of your body that you hate the most? At okay. the top up, What's yeah. this going to do? What's this going to do? Um... It's going to say, hi, yeah, look at my knockers. But the thing is, your jackets are nice. I like tailoring well, on I board. spend a bloody fortune on her. OK. And this is um, Givenchy. OK, so you've got... I mean, we're talking now some of the best labels. I know. Oh, my God, that is beautiful. You see, that is nice, isn't it? It's, put it on, let me see. Three buttons, not great for your shape, I have to say, because we need to try and bring in a little bit more waist. But having said that, if you do two buttons up, you get slightly more waist and you always leave the bottom one open. Do you know why? Why is that? Because men put their hands in their pockets, so what you do is it gives you a bit of movement. I have to say, the one thing that I have noticed from your wardrobe so far is a lot of the stuff is ill-fitting. What we need to do now is we need to start working on building up a nice wardrobe for you that all the time, whether you're at work or not, on stage or not, yeah. 
you can feel fabulous. And I'm going to do that by taking you shopping. Oh, right. Wicked. Later on, I'll be proving to Alan the answer to his fashion prayers lies on the British High Street and not in expensive designer boutiques. This one's got you on. <laughs> I've convinced Ali to ditch most of her wardrobe and I'm teaching her how to shop for her shape. Ali's five foot four and has a boyish frame, so she needs to find cuts that create curves. So I'm putting her into several key pieces to show her what suits her and, more importantly, what doesn't. And first up, tops. So tops is something that you do need because you wear a lot of separates. What do all six tops do here? They make us look longer. And why is that, do you think? Well, it's a, it's a cut. Exactly. It's the base. <laughs> they don't all look great on you. Which one do you think looks the best on you? I'd say that one. What do you think those sleeves are doing to your hips? They sort of come out a bit. It makes my hips look more slender. OK, so do you want to look like you're about to topple over then? Do you want to look like an American <laughs> football player with <laughs> no, shoulders here and hips here? Is that what you're looking for? No. Good. <laughs> so for Ali, this cap sleeve shirt is a big no-no. And although this puff sleeve blouse may be in fashion, short girls be aware, it will make you look squat. But it is great for statuesque girls with narrow shoulders. Now, look at that one in comparison to this one, which is a very similar shirt. Yeah. It's a check detail. This time, we've got a long ruffle running right from the collar down to the bottom of the shirt, which is elongating Yeah. Here. Yeah, but because it's got full sleeves on it, and because of the cut slightly, what's that doing to your hips and shoulders that that isn't? Well, they're more in proportion and yeah. actually look longer in the body. Absolutely. I've worn short sleeves for such a long time, so that's why I'm... I think it's sort of... Um, for a long time, you've I'm... been getting it wrong, yeah. Ali. This is the whole point. <laughs> Next up, it's dresses. This fabulous red dress is great to show off your curves, but if you've got a boyish frame like Ali, it's a no-no. She's looking more boxy than foxy. For women of all shapes and sizes, the wrap dress is a classic. It will create a fabulous waistline and it's perfect for girls that are sensitive about their stomachs. Yeah. As long as you know the cut, you can feel better about yourself every single day. And it might not be in the sale, it might cost more than a quid in a supermarket, <laughs> but surely that's going to be money well spent. And finally, jeans. Peg leg is a cool look this summer, but not a good look on Ali, as they'll make her hips look broader than they actually are. If you don't want to look too short or too wide, I'd recommend the straight leg. Not everyone can wear skinnies like Kate Moss, so straight legs are a clever compromise. So do you think by seeing all of these images in you, in all these different clothes, you've worked out what you should be wearing for your body shape? I think I've got a very, very good idea now, because seeing it like that, I can actually see what I should be looking for in clothes and what to completely avoid. Ding dong, Dr Gok. Ali's finally learning what suits her shape. My next step is to show Ali the pleasures of having a new interchangeable wardrobe of just 24 key pieces hand-picked from the Great British High Street. Ali's going to be blown away and you lot will be dashing out to get one. Very soon, Brix and I will go head-to-head -head in our catwalk competition. Now it's my turn to shop and prove to you guys all these looks are on your British High Street. Brix has forked out 840 quid on this black and white outfit, but I can beat that for a whole lot less. So I'm going to do a fabulous outfit now, a suiting outfit that is going to look a little bit Chanel inspired. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Beautiful, black and white, really, really simple. We call it monochrome. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on loads and loads of corsages and some pearls and stuff, and it's going to look gorgeous. Next, you don't need to splash the cash on designer clubber to look good in prints. Prints for the summer, absolutely gorgeous. H&M at its best. You know, Bricks is going to absolutely floor me with prints because the designers, they throw loads of money at loads of textiles. But you know what? This is absolutely wonderful. I love this. And I guarantee, if this doesn't win, I will barbecue my dog. And you don't need to cane the credit card to look chic and slouchy. I'm going to style up a look called slouchy using a pair of harem pants that are notoriously the hardest things to style up because, basically, if you do it wrong, they can make you look really overweight and bricks. I'm telling you now, you might be good with a credit card, but I am better with a high string. This posh frock is a whopping 918 quid, but you lot can do it for less on the high street. Now, I found this frock, which I absolutely love, but for what I want to do, I don't think this colour works, so I want it in this. So by the time I finish with that, I'm going to cover it in loads of gold accessories, gold shoes, great hair and makeup. Bricks is going to think it's from the high end bit. Right, I need this in a sand colour, please. 
I'm confident I've got some cracking pieces for this week, but first they'll need a little bit of gawking to turn them from high street to high end. Got this dress, jersey one, that has all this Grecian feel because of the draping. And because it looked quite inexpensive, what I've done is I've bought this braiding, really, really cheap from the haberdashery, and I've literally stitched it around all of the edging of the dress, but I need to finish it. And it's so easy, as you can see here, all you need to do is put a top stitch over and through. Because I'm using gold thread on top of a gold braid, it's perfect if your stitching is not very good like mine because you can't see it. And you know what? When you're altering clothes, it needs to be a little bit of fun, not hard work. I'm going to take this small chain waist belt and I'm going to turn it into a neckline for the dress. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> Off. Done. OK, Ooh. so now I'm just going to stitch this one onto here. It's so easy and it's going to look sensational. I'm giving this outfit layers of expensive looking detail. A gold leather waist belt, some cheap but chic dangly earrings and a gorgeous Art Deco bracelet. All that's missing is a killer clutch. So, I've got this cheap bracelet just from the high street here and I've also got this gold glasses case that a pair of sunglasses came in years ago. So I'm literally going to clip off all the chain and I'm now going to glue this on the front of the bag. Dead simple. Girlfriend, you look fierce, and believe it or not, it's all again from the high street. Statistically, black is the most common colour in every woman's wardrobe, but even when you're wearing a full black outfit, you've got to learn how to get it right. First up, take a basic black tee, add some sexy hold ups, and shimmy on a little black dress. There are so many on the British high street now which are absolutely gorgeous because they body skim, and I love showing the female formal. A simple pipe jacket is perfect for work, but don't be afraid to ramp up the glamour factor. Flowers add texture, and a string of pearls give that designer detail. And simply leave that hanging, looks absolutely gorgeous, and looks as if it's just come out of a Sloan Street boutique. Some optional accessories for the fashion forward, and voila! Black and white movie star glamour, all from the great British high street. The classic Chanel-inspired crop jacket is back with a vengeance, but it doesn't need to come with a designer price tag. Here's five of the best available on your British high street. I'm loving this cropped cream number from New Luck with fabulous bow detail. Timeless glamour. Why not try Monte Carlo chic in this red houndstooth jacket from good old Marks and Spencers? If you want to go all out on Chanel styling, go for this knitted black crop with white trim from Miss Selfridge. Heavy on the detailing but easy on the purse strings, try this shabby chic number from Zara. And if you're feeling flush, Heaven and Earth have created this sparkly jacket which will dazzle everyone, the perfect party jacket. Coming up, our Rotherham lasses rock and roll their way through the best dresses on the high street. And I've got a tricky customer with my first ever Fashion Fix male makeover. OK, we might go up to 38 on these jeans. No, I can't <laughs> go to a 38. Sorry You're meant piece. to boost yourself. I am, no, I am <laughs> I truly believe every single woman, regardless of your shape and size, should look and feel absolutely fabulous. So I've recruited my very own set of Yorkshire Yummies to go into the British High Street to solve every single problem a curvy girl could think of. Meet my cracking team of Rotherham Road Testers. These fashion friends range from a curvy 16 to a voluptuous 28. These girls are big and beautiful and they want to look good. The girls have never been able to find a dress that fits them properly, as these frumpy old frocks show. The last time I wore a dress was on my wedding day. They don't make them to fit people that are this shape. Do you don't want nobody to see her in that dress. Sorry. So out with the old and in with the new, let's hit the dance floor. 
dressed to impress in eight frocks available on the high street and with the aid of Rotherham's finest Fred Astaire's, can these dresses withstand some fancy footwork? Lucy's large floral print breaks up her body and the A-line cut slims down a silhouette. Iris's empire line is super slimming, hiding away the hips and tum. Helen's looking sexy in this revealing number. The neckline is slinky but hardly supportive. Uh, because this dress is so low and revealing, I can't wear a bra. So it, it just causes problems when you're trying to dance. And it's frock horror for Joe's wraparound dress. This pair are definitely in line for the booby prize. It's not holding up at all, it's lying everywhere. I'm not looking. Sally's dress is based on her bra size and is holding up well under the pressure. It feels great and every time I spin round it swirls fab. I love it. Despite the wide supporting straps on Miss Debenham's design, Joe's bra is getting more of a look in. No good. I'm losing the top. The sleeves on this dress cover any bingo wings and the stretchy fabric allows Kat to throw some shapes. It moves with your body. It feels great. Janet's classic shift skims the figure without being too clingy. If you just to throw me over his shoulder, I've got no chance in this one, but I can move in it. With the dancing over, let's find out the scores on the doors. I love this dress. It's classy, sexy and sassy. I'll give this dress an eight. This dress is dowdy. It makes me feel ugly, so I give this dress a one. This dress is lovely. It's versatile. I'll give this dress an eight. It's more of an autumn dress than a summer dress. That's why I give it an eight. I love the print on this dress, but it doesn't give any bust support, so I give this a five. Because I can't wear a bra, there's no support. It only gets a seven. I absolutely adore this dress. From the moment I put it on, it's fantastic. It's got to be a nine. Unfortunately, I'm 24, and in it I look 64, so for that reason, I'm going to give it a five. So rocking in with nine points makes Monsoon's Empire Line the belle of a ball. Next week, the ladies trolley dash their way around a supermarket to find the perfect fitted shirt. I'm back in Newcastle to continue my fashion fix with bargain queen, Ali. I've taught her what cuts suit her shape and I've trawled the British High Street to find her a bespoke wardrobe made up of just 24 key pieces, which are totally interchangeable. And if you follow suit with my mix and match mantra, you'll never have a bad clothes day again. Ali's new wardrobe consists of a perfectly fitting pencil skirt, a timeless wardrobe staple, seven different tops to take her from day to night, three pairs of shoes, one pair of stack heel boots, perfect for a busy mum, a classic Mac, a tailored jacket no girl should be without, a pair of jeans in a cut that flatters her frame, some wide leg trousers, a fabulous red cardi to complement her complexion, three handbags from a clutch to a tote, a chiffon scarf, and belts in different widths to pull together any look. The key to mix and match is to invest in classic items in colours that suit you and complement each other. Remember, high fashion dates, but classic pieces will stand the test of time and could save you money. So what does Ali think? I'd like to formally introduce you to... Right. ..your brand new wardrobe. Oh, that looks just gorgeous. Mwah. Do you love it? God, yeah. All right, so all of this stuff I know is going to look, number one, gorgeous. Yeah. Number two, fit you correctly. All right. But more importantly, number three, all of these clothes are interchangeable. You are always going to have something, something to wear. To wear. For, yeah? It just looks amazing. Do you want a closer look? Oh, yeah. And tell me what you think. Just gorgeous. I mean, heels, I've never been out of kitten heels for years. I love the Mac. Mac's fabulous. Just... Would well, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, every bird should have a Mac, Mac. in her wardrobe. Yeah. So should we get some clothes on? Yeah. Fabulous. 
There are rules to building a capsule wardrobe and this week's first tip is to find a base colour that suits you. Ali's is brown, but some girls may suit black better. Right, come on then, Al Schmel. Gorgeous. Right, OK, so before I let you see, I'm just going to grab a few accessories. So I'm going to go for these brown boots, yeah? So a nice heel on them, but they've got a round toe, which makes them feel slightly more daytime. There's a bag, a little wooden, chunky necklace. OK, so this is outfit number one. Right. Are you ready? I am. Right, OK, then turn. God, wow. <laughs> What do you think? Something I wouldn't have chosen myself, and it, just to see it on, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The high street has triumphed again and transformed bargain buyer Ali into one sophisticated lady. The dress is interchangeable with other items from her capsule wardrobe. This classic mac and shoes are great for lunches with the girls. For another informal look, she can mix it up with this red cardi. Gox rule number two. Ladies, don't be led by fashion or labels when it comes to the cut of your jeans. The key is to find a style that suits your shape. Let's tuck this in first of all. By tucking things in, especially when they're the same colour, will always make you look longer, taller and slimmer. So we're going to add on these shoes. Wow. OK, yep. so let's pop those on next. Beautiful. Yep. If you want to wear these jeans with a pair of ballet pumps, just turn them up. There's nothing Wait. wrong with the turn up. It's absolutely fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a mat. So the bag will go with that look. OK, so just to tie in the colour on your shoes, I've got this simple chiffon red scarf. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Ta-da. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Do you love it? It is absolutely gorgeous. But this, I think, is a solid outfit number two. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely great. From Ali's 24 pieces, you can dress up the jeans with this purple blouse and heels. Dress them down with the belted cardigan and ballet pumps. Or go super cool in boots and the Mac. Gok rule number three. Find a tailored jacket that fits your frame. It's the ultimate wardrobe staple to dress up any look. OK, so this look now is all about the sassy side of Ali, all right? I don't think I've ever wore a pair of heels this high. You're a four and a half inch virgin. <laughs> I am as well. Oh, gorgeous. I love it already. Next up. I'm going to pop on this fitted jacket. Yep. It can pretty much go with any outfit. Right. I'm now going to add on a fabulous little necklace, all these beautiful pearl beads. And finally, this fabulous little clutch bag. And this, my darling, is the sassy, sexy, gorgeous Ali. Girlfriend's back in town. Have a look. Way to go. I just love it. I, I, it's so cute and sexy. This is Very your favourite one so far, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. The nicest thing is, is you look confident mm. and you look happy. And this is just simple, basic clothing from your capsule wardrobe. It is. The sexy silhouette of this fitted jacket really nips Ali in at the waist. This key piece can be mixed with a posse bow tie blouse or styled up for the evening with a black skirt. So has Ali learned how to interchange her new wardrobe? Have a look at your new working wardrobe. Now show me what would you do with it? Mix and match for me. Mix and match. White t-shirt. Yeah. On with the jeans. Gorgeous. This jacket. Lovely. Or then we've got this lovely long red cardigan, which I think with a white t-shirt could be keyed up and do it as a dress. So do you understand now it's all about that interchanging? Oh yeah, definitely. And I'm going to be spoke for choice. And it's well, it's quality, not quantity that's going to be happening from now on. By interchanging items in her capsule wardrobe, Ali has plenty to wear, whether it's work, rest or play. Before I reveal Ali's final look, I'm getting graphic with my next catwalk look. Label lover Bricks has shelled out 625 quid on her dress, but I found perfect prints all on the high street. So I'm going to start with this dirndl skirt. Now, a dirndl skirt basically is a skirt that kicks out on an A-line with loads and loads of pleats around the waist. And it's beautiful on any shape, but in particular it works for most women if they want to cover up 
a little bit of excess winter pudding they've got around their middle. Now I'm gonna take the top, which is basically matching in the fabric, but I'm gonna tuck it into the skirt because I want to give the illusion that it's all one piece. Now this cheap little belt made of leather is gonna make this outfit look so much more expensive. It's because I'm gonna start covering up this joint so where the skirt meets the top, no one's gonna know it's not a single piece and fitted exactly to Safi's body. So all I've done here is I've tied the belt round once and then I'm gonna feed the long this bit underneath the belt and then I'm going to tuck that in just through the loop which makes it look instantly more expensive and instantly more finished. We've got matching bangles and as far as I'm concerned that is a little bit of high street couture. Alan Carr buys loads of designer gear, but he keeps getting it wrong. So I'm going to show him how to get it right on the high street. Now, while I'm looking for jeans, yeah, yeah. I want you to pull a couple of things that you think looks relaxed, casual, you know, brings out a bit of your personality, all right? So it's a bit of a mission for you now. So I want to get some jeans. Rugged, OK, yeah? Think... Yeah, yeah. Okay. perfect. Rah. 32. How you doing, Al? No, bad. I love it, look. Brings like out it. my psoriasis. You're gonna look like an extra from a D-Light video. Right, you've not pulled a single thing that's nice, and you've gone for a large. You might have to go for an extra large to accommodate. Oh, right, okay, yeah, okay. when I'm down. This one's got you on. Am I the only one that's getting excited about this, Alan? Yeah. Despite his resistance, I've been picking out the best the high street has to offer. Carry those. Where'd Come you on. get these Shoes. from? I've been looking all over. Come on. <laughs> all right, Doc, all right. Gok, you got to slow down, Gok. I can't see. Thank you. Time to tackle his first fashion faux pas, those badly oh, fitting nice. jeans. OK, so normally you go for quite a straight cut jean, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so the first mistake is, look where you pulled them. Well, up to the waist. But look how high they are. Pull your underwear up a bit. Yeah. yeah. So that's all good. So now they're a little bit lower. Right, now, top off. <laughs> I'm going to put on a nice, big, oversized V. If you stand there like this, everything is going to look really horrible. So let's okay. just start. Let's just <laughs> so to loosen up his look, I'm putting him in even bigger and baggier jeans. OK, we might go up to a 38 on these jeans. No, I can't <laughs> go to a 38. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> so you're meant to piece. boost yourself and No, I am. You were a 36 in those. It just means you're not a 36 yeah, in those. Yeah, I'm baggy in them. I'm sort of liking those jeans now. It's very slimming, isn't it? Very slimming. Which when you've got the waist down at your knees. So we're going to try on putting a blazer Ooh, with this top. Slow. All right, OK. So let's go for a little blaze with this top. So now you like that little bit of structure. Oh, it's really nice, Gok. And when all else fails, let's create a mini me. Yeah, it's relaxed, it's casual, and do you know what? It kind of looks a little bit on trend. This is a little trick now. On boys, if you do carry a bit of weight around your chin, if you open up this section just here, yeah. it lengthens your entire neckline, which gives the illusion of less chin. Oh. What would you have for that? Would I have, like, beads or a medallion? No. Who would have thought I'd look slimmer just by putting a big old V in the front? Exactly, and you do, so you feel yes. good. Yeah, I feel brilliant. Thank you ever so much. You'll finally look butch and masculine. Oh, Absolutely. 32 years. <laughs> oh, thanks for finally butching me up. Gosh, I can't believe it. I'm yeah. so excited. Alan, it's all yours. The Get butch. to that till. Go on. <laughs> no skipping. You're butch. <laughs> Back in Birmingham, we're minutes away from the fashion face-off. Soon this audience of shoppers will decide whether they prefer Brooks's designer outfits or my looks, all from the great British high street. It's my final chance to shake that little label lover and get a closer look at the competition. This is it, Brickster. Come into my lair. Mwah. Mwah. Right then. How about a... this for print? Look right. at it, it's like a piece of origami with the most delicious silk satin. Yeah, do you know, I like, I like the prints. It's, it's, it's quite cute. No, it's lovely. How much? 625 quid. You keep it in your wardrobe for 10 years. It will not fall right. apart like a piece of high street. That's 60 okay. quid a year. That's less than you would spend on the high street. Boom! 600 odd quid. You can't afford a wardrobe to put it in. It's too expensive. 
Right, next. What you we got next? Come oh, on, show me next. You save up for come it. On, right, All come right. On, next. This one is caviar gauche, okay. and it's about 918 so, pounds. Right. Do you know, what? I do like this one because it's very, very <laughs> simple. But for a thousand pounds, I am not joking you. I have seen this kind of dress on the high street. I have. I am absolutely going to give you a run for your money. All I'm right. I'm going to beat the bricks. We'll see. Time to put the finishing touches to our fourth and final outfit. It's slouchy style. These are Rick Owens jogging trousers. And um, Rick Owens, he's effortlessly rock and roll cool. Oh my God. So I'm going to put this bit of color on top. I'm going to start, first of all, with a pair of harem trousers. Now, these are in a really soft jersey. Wonderful. Now, if you're going to do slouchy, the footwear has always got to be sexy. These are Giuseppe Zanotti shoes, and they're quite dressy but fun, and she could still wear them in the day. Now, the piece de resistance. This is classic Rick Owens. He is famous for his leathers. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on this slouchy, oversized, beautiful print kimono. I'm going to fix it with a wide belt, and that's always going to make any waist look smaller. Courtney, you're ready, my darling. Love this. Showtime. All eight models are ready to rock the runway, but whose outfits will rock our audience? Coming up, it's the moment of truth as Brits and I go into battle. Right, here we go. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. Plus, bargain hunter Ali debuts her new luck to her nearest and dearest. It's the moment Ali's been waiting for. Just a few weeks ago, her wardrobe was stuffed with bargain basement bits. She hadn't even taken the tag off. But now I've drummed home my mantra, buy less but wear more, by coordinating your clothes and shopping for your shape. My styling team have worked their magic. And it's time for Ali to see her final look using that gorgeous tailored jacket from her 24 pieces. You ready? You can have a look at yourself. Jesus, God! <laughs> My husband's gonna walk straight past me. <laughs> Do you love it? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> it's bloody brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You look stunning. God, I'm trying to look right. <laughs> Did you think you could ever look this absolutely amazing? No. Nah, never in a million years. If you shop, Properly, and if you're careful, and if you're clever about it, you will never ever have a bad clothes day again. And it doesn't have to absolutely cost you a fortune. It's about those right choices. Now it's time to go and show your friends and family. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you lots. Right, go and see your family. Love you. The greatest It was a classy look, I thought, tonight, and she really suited it. You look lovely. You look fab. The whole experience has been absolutely amazing. Biggest lesson I've learned, and not just go, oh, sale reel, three quid, top blouse, five quid jacket. I know what I'm looking for now, and it's all thanks to Gok. I think she's gorgeous. I've always thought she's gorgeous, but tonight... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of Ali. She's ditched that sale rail stuffed closet and followed my advice that less really is more when it comes to grown up glamour. She's mixing and matching her pieces perfectly and is showing the rest of the Geordie lasses how it really should be done. I've had such huge lessons. I'm going to make straight, not for the sale rail, but for the items of clothing that I know that are going to work well with my shape and my age. Ali looks a real winner. But after my disastrous defeat last week... No! I hope I'll be celebrating tonight. The tension's mounting and the models are standing by. But whose looks will our audience of voters go for? Brix's mega money designer collection or my budget-beating buys sourced entirely from the high street with some special gawk twists? Let the glamour game begin.
the show's over and it's time for the audience to vote. They've been asked to choose which collection they like best, but remember they don't know whose is whose. Will it be Brix's designer or my high street outfits that come out on top? Right then, guys. Yeah, give it up for our models. This is the moment of truth. We're about to find out who has won, all right? Yep. Would you do us the honors? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. With the votes cast and counted, it's time to find out the all-important result. Oh! Gawk. Yes! 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 Thank you! Give it up, please, for the British High Street! Yes, girls, I'm back. I'm gutted, but we're to come back fighting. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. Next time, another unsuspecting fashion phobic gets a wardrobe wake up call. Love it. Still try and wear it. Are you mad? It doesn't fit you, does it, baby? No. I show loose woman Linda Bellingham how to look sassy at 60. Oh, honestly, I don't know what those red shoes have done. You've got all frisky. Yes. <laughs> get out of here and go and get those sailors. Plus, Bricks goes undercover to try and trump my looks. Everything that Gawk has is going to be in the stores. This is breaking new territory. Yay! We love designer.